Hello, and thank you for visiting the SEDM website at sedm.org and watching this video training on how to use the SEDM jurisdiction database online. This presentation will take approximately 10 minutes. The intended audience is everyone who is a member and who would like to use our website optimally. What you have in front of you is the opening page of the SEDM website at sedm.org. Throughout this presentation, we will use certain instructional techniques. Let me demonstrate. The mouse cursor itself has a yellow circle around it, which makes it easier to follow the movements of the mouse on the screen. When we click on items on the screen, you will hear a clicking noise, and you will see a red circle emanating from the center of the mouse. Let's try it click on support. You heard a clicking noise, you saw a circle, and then we'll hit the back button. The SEDM Jurisdiction Database Online is provided as a research tool on specific geographical jurisdictions and it contains legal research information for use by people who are litigating in the courts in defense of their constitutional rights. You can access the jurisdiction database online from the litigation tools page right here. Click on litigation tools and then right over here you will see jurisdiction database online <coughs> under on-site legal research links. Jurisdiction database online. You can also access the jurisdiction database online. Let's go back to the opening page by scrolling down to the clickable activism map area on the opening screen, clicking on a particular state, and then going to the top menus up here at the top of the SEDM activism map, and clicking on the link entitled Jurisdiction Info. That's exactly the same thing as the Jurisdiction Database Online. The only difference is that this particular link will take you to reference information for a specific state that is already displayed, in this case Texas. So it doesn't display a random jurisdiction when you open it on this particular screen. It goes to Texas only. So it's, that's why it's called Jurisdiction Info instead. So let's hit the back button on the opening page and then we'll click on the litigation tools and we'll drill into the Jurisdiction Database Online from the litigation tools page. Now the, the thing we want to point out is that this page contains a considerable amount of information and all of this information is dynamically generated and so it could take up to 10 seconds to load the page as it just did. And it will open up to basically the, the first alphabetical state initially. So at the top we can see that it says SEDM Jurisdiction Database Online and and then we can see the default state which is the first state in the alphabet which is Alabama and we can select a different state from this page anytime we want if we scroll down a little bit and we just drop this list down we can select a different state any one of the 50 states or territories we can select from this list and when we do it'll take us let's say Alaska and then we simply click find and it takes us to Alaska and then it takes another you know up, up to 10 seconds to uh, compile all the information on the pay page for that new, newly selected state which in this case is Alaska. Now there is also a PDF downloadable version of this information for all 50 states, all jurisdictions um, available on our site which is called the SEDM Jurisdictions Database. So that would be just a printed version of what you're seeing here. And the frequency that we update that is a lot less often than we update this online version of the same database. The information for the Jurisdiction Database Litigation Tool 09.003 is updated maybe once every few months uh, whereas the, all the information on this page is dynamically generated so it's guaranteed to be current. So if you want to make sure you have the very latest information, the online version 
is probably the best place to go to get the latest information on your particular jurisdiction. And the page is arranged with menus at the top. Home here will take us to the opening page of SEDM at SEDM.org, which is this page here, right there. The join allows us to join the SEDM as a forum member and a basic member. That will take us to the registration page in the forums. The forums link takes us to the forums if we want to learn more information about a specific jurisdiction or do research or have questions answered and so on or interact with the ministry. And likewise we have an activism map link which takes us to the SEDM activism map for the particular jurisdiction we have displayed now. So if we're on Alaska then we can click on this and it opens up the Alaska activism map which is covered in a different training video. So we won't go into that now. And lastly we have region info which is information about existing government officers who are serving within each, this specific jurisdiction of Alaska. And that's provided by a third party. So that would be in this case the National Association of Counties. So please don't provide feedback about this map because we're not responsible for it but they have a similar map and you can type in the county name you're interested in and it will describe all the people serving in that region. Let's now go into the stuff underneath the menu here at the top. So we have the SDM jurisdictions database which is the PDF or downloadable version of what you're seeing here but for all jurisdictions and if we open that we can take a look at it. So basically it's got the same thing Alabama and all the information that's on this the page we just came from about that particular jurisdiction and all the links are activated so we can click on those at any time and it'll do the same thing as if we had clicked on, on the links here on this page. Then we have the state legal research sources which is um, legal resources for all 50 states on one page. So if we click on that we have all the, the state or jurisdiction on the left and then we have you know the uh, the website for that entity, the constitution, statutes, regulations, register, court rulings, court rules, UCC filings, and general info for each jurisdiction. So there's a lot of information here packed into a very small area to help you very quickly find what you need. And a lot of this information is, is repeated but f for the specific jurisdiction that you're on here. So this list is basically just a filtered list that has all the details you could ever want to know about a specific state instead of just the general stuff like the Constitution and the statutes and the rules and so on. So if you want really detailed information about a specific jurisdiction, in this case a state, this is always the best place to go and it, because it's the most current and it's the most specific. And likewise we have legal research sources which is basically general information on legal sub just about any legal subject uh, and it's organized hierarchical so we have God's law, state law, um, federal law, international law, reference, practice resources, online libraries, legal history, legal treatises and so on. So that's another very powerful and useful and then across the top here we have all the various jurisdiction, all the various places you can obtain that information for that particular jurisdiction. So we'll close that and then we'll close the yes, it, the jurisdictions database PDF. And moving on over here on the right we have paid sections. So there's 10 paid sections on this page. We have main resources and all of this information on this page pertains specifically and only to the selected state. In this case Alaska. So we have main resources notes, authorities, reporters, courts, which are all the courts in that state, uh, points of contact, what, you know, people working in that state, the tax code links, the tax notices link, the vehicle code links, the state county's geographical map, and, and um, so on. Okay, so let's go down through those sections which are all listed right here. 
And by the way, we can click on these. So if we went to notes, it would take us to notes. We can see that it's empty. We can hit the back button within this page. Uh, these links on the right here will only work on Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is the only one that has intra page bookmark links. Other browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox, these links here may not work and we may just have to scroll down to get to the section we want. So the first link was main resources, which is here, section one, main resources. And then we have a lot of the same information in this section that we would have found on the state legal resources page here. So that would be all this, you know, the Constitution, the statutes, the regulations, and so on, which is also found right here, Constitution, statutes, regulations, and so on, with additional information, of course. And most of these links are active, so if you click on these, it'll take you right straight to that resource if you need it for that particular jurisdiction. The next section was notes, which is also up here, notes. We don't have any notes on this jurisdiction. The next section was authorities. Authorities are basically legal authorities, constitution, statutes, rules, and so on, that pertain to a particular subject matter. And the subject matter is listed over here under the authority title. And it's listed in alphabetical sequence over here. And then the next column tells you what kind of resource this is, whether it's a statute, a court rule, a multiple type, uh, the constitution, and so on. The next column is the legal site. That is, how would you cite this resource? Uh, in this case, it would be, since we're talking about Alaska, it would be the Alaska Statutes, Section 11.56.510. And then we have a link to that specific statute, in this case. We click on it, it'll take us right to the link uh, where we can actually read that specific legal, uh, that specific authority. And, and then we have notes on that particular authority. And then we have the date that this particular authority was last updated and that helps to tell us just how current and fresh this information is because freshness is important when you're doing litigation because you could cited for be cited for being frivolous if the information is not fresh and if it's not current or if it's not accurate the next section is reporters reporters are basically law reporters that is publications published by the legal industry that report certain types of case law from all of the courts in that jurisdiction. And those, those uh, reporters change over time. Like, for instance, the first one listed here, Alaska Federal Reports, began in 1869 and ended in 1937. So it's no longer published. And this would be the abbreviation if you saw it in a legal publication, if, if they were citing this authority. And this is the jurisdiction that it would pertain to district courts of Alabama and that would obviously would be the federal district courts of Alabama um, and so on. Okay, so the next section would be uh, courts, specific courts in that jurisdiction, court of appeals, district court, magistrate court, superior court, supreme court, trial courts, and the authority for the creation of that particular kind of court is listed over here. And then you have minimum and maximum amounts in controversy for that particular court, if there are any. You have the number of judges in each of these types of courts throughout the state or jurisdiction. You have how long the term of the judge is. You have the number of the courts in that jurisdiction. And you have the number of districts in the jurisdiction. And then you have a link to that specific court over here, if it's active. If, if there's no underline under it, then it's not active. So some of these have links, underlines, and therefore active, and some of them don't. And then in some cases, you have online e-file link. An e-file is electronic filing of, of documents with that jurisdiction, so you don't have to travel to that court or m mail anything. You just file it online on the Internet. And you can see that this particular, juris uh, this particular state has no e-file, online e-file, because none of these have underlines. And then we have points of contact. That is, you know, the attorney general, the governor, the revenue commissioner, and so on. You have, so you have their name, their, their, uh, their title, their organization they work for, their last and first name, their mailing address, their city, state, zip, their business phone, their email address, the, and the source where that information came from on how to contact them and how fresh it is the last time it was updated. Then coming in down here in Section 7, you have the tax code, which is 
basically all the links for the various tax regulations and statutes that pertain to that jurisdiction. Um, and you also have whether or not that state has an income tax. In this case, it says false, which means Alaska does not have an income tax. And then the tax code is Title 30, 43 in the Alaska statutes. And then you have a link to the tax code right here if you click on it, because it's got an underline, so it's active. You also have the tax regulations and um, information about the collection statute limitations, collection statute expiration date, withholding forms, withholding exemption forms, main return forms, substitute W-2 forms, revenue agency name, and a link to the revenue department and response letter links, links to response letters for that particular state, and then general tax info. Then you have tax notices. Uh, if that state has an income tax, they use collection notices, and you'll see a list of all those notices here. This particular state doesn't have income tax, so it doesn't list any tax notices. Then you have the vehicle code d uh, information, you know, the, the vehicle code link to the vehicle code, the, the link to the, re the regulations, for the vehicle code. In this case, there isn't one because it's not underlined. And then you have a summary of how the vehicle code works and all the important things in it. And then down here you have a, a county map of the state and then just notes at the bottom. So let's go back to the beginning. This concludes our training on the SEDM Jurisdiction Database Online Litigation Tool 09.004. Thank you for watching. We hope you've been benefited by this presentation, and we look forward to working with you in the future. God bless you.